happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a press on nail review for you guys i'm super excited about this video actually um bt art box reached out to me and wanted me to review some new press on nails that they are launching and having available y'all know me i love me some press on nails so of course i said yes and so yeah y'all they sent me over this package here um it is the bt art box professional nail prep art set is what they call it the box really simple and cute the pink and black and so i'm just open it up and see what we have here Ooh, very beautiful so they let me pick out three press on sets from their website and yeah y'all i was really excited to get all three of these and so this first set here is like some short almond um or i guess medium some medium length almond nails that have like the beautiful kind of swirl nail art and y'all know i had to have that bling in the set and so i got some that had bling in it the second set that i picked up is yellow french tips and y'all know yellow is my favorite color and i really like the nail bed on these on these french tips i think they're very natural looking and complements a, a nice variety of different skin tones and so i got this one and then i also picked up these right here which are really cool it's black and white flame french tips with rhinestones on them i just think they're absolutely beautiful and so yeah y'all these are the three sets that i got and i'm actually planning on doing a set with these um i'm actually getting ready to do a weekend girls trip what's crazy i just got back from a family vacation at Disney and now I'm getting ready to go out of town again um, and uh, do a weekend girls trip with the kiddos and so I need a quick set I'm going to take these off because I'm kind of tired of the set already and so I'm going to take these off and then do a set with these right here you all know I have the press on nail series going on on my channel and so I would like to apply these with builder gel um, I've done a couple of times applying press on nails with acrylic and that works out really well and so yeah I wanted to try out a couple different methods for you guys the packaging of this is really cute it looks like it's like this black glossy and matte zebra print kind of uh packaging which is really cute on the back it has all the instructions of how to um, apply the press on nails and so let's open them up and see what we got here okay packaging is nice here it comes with all of the tips in this actual package here and then we have more instructions that tell you how to apply them so i'll just let you all see that okay and then it comes with a couple of different application options which is pretty nice it comes with super glue so it comes with the super glue here it also comes with the alcohol pad it comes with oops, it comes with a cuticle stick it comes with a mini file then it also comes with um, some nail adhesive tabs which is also nice so yeah let's see how these hold up again I'm going out of town for a weekend's girl trip and we're supposed to be going to the beach slash um, a water park and so we're gonna really put these to the test y'all I hope none of these pop off because I'm gonna be really sad if they do and so I want to try them with two different application methods I think I might actually go ahead and just try them with the super glue that comes with the kit because I normally never do that I normally just apply it with something else I don't know that I'm actually going to use the super glue or the tabs that come with it I want to try applying them in a different way so I actually want to apply one of the hands using um, builder gel and so let's see how this works out you guys I am going to go ahead and remove these nails here and then I will get to applying these press-ons I'm hoping to do a one week update so make sure you stay to the end so that you can see how they hold up okay so I have already um, picked out my sizes for the nails I did just want to kind of take a closer look at the actual nail tip itself um, I do like them they feel like they are of good quality um they have a nice uh, sturdiness to the tip and then some flexibility here at the cuticle area which is always nice because it always lends to having a little bit more of a seamless look when you're applying the press on on when you're applying your press on when you're sizing your press on you do want to make sure there's not too much overhang um from the side wall to side wall I do feel like um, with this one there is a little bit more hanging over than I would want but I'm still gonna go ahead and just try it out and see how it works overall I do feel like the nail tips fit pretty good to my actual nail bed so I am gonna go ahead with the application of them go ahead and just use the cuticle stick the file and then the alcohol uh, pad 
And then I'm actually gonna end up applying my nails using Builder Base. So first I am gonna go ahead and push back all of my cuticles. Um, I just removed some full cover tips. So my nail beds are actually already pretty dry and dehydrated. I literally just took them off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push my cuticles all the way back. And then just take a little dust brush and dust that off. After that, you'll wanna go through, I'm just gonna take the softer side of this file and just lightly buff my nail bed just to give it a rough surface to adhere to, okay? I'm just gonna do that for all the nails. Okay. And then next, you'll wanna take your alcohol pad and wipe down the surface of the nail, making sure to remove any debris, dirt, and oil from the nails. I normally go through and I wipe my nail beds twice just to make sure they are really nice and dehydrated. Now all the nails are prepped and ready to go. So um, when you prep your actual press on nail, you definitely wanna make sure you go in and etch the inside of the nail tip. I've already done that here off camera. And so my nail tips are all ready to go. So um, I have applied um, press on nails using Builder Gel before um, on my channel. I am gonna leave a link to that video um, down in the description box. It was a long time ago and I've learned a lot of tips and tricks since then. Um, essentially applying press ons with Builder Gel is kind of like doing the Gel X dupe method where you're essentially just using some type of nail glue, nail base, etc., to adhere the nail to the actual um, tip. And so in the case of press-ons, it's just that the design is already on the nail. I'm choosing this design in particular because it does have a clear base here. And so the builder gel should have enough to enough light to be able to penetrate through and actually cure the nail. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and take the, um, I have the Amelie uh, builder base here, the builder gel in a bottle. I really enjoy this. Um, I've used it to like build out a nail and everything. This stuff is really good and affordable. I'm going to use my mini LED lamp for this application. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna take a little bit of the builder gel I'm gonna essentially do it like I do when I do my gel X method which I'm just gonna apply the gel to the inside of the tip where I feel like my nail is gonna meet and then whatever is left over I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop that onto the actual nail itself I'm gonna go ahead and turn my light on I'm gonna turn the nail over place it really close to the cuticle and actually tuck it just slightly underneath the nail bed and I'm gonna let the gel squeeze out just a bit and then go underneath the light. Hold it underneath the light for, I'm actually gonna go ahead and hold it for the full minute just to make sure that everything cures into place properly. Okay. So that is how it is looking. Oh, what? Okay, well that's kinda sad. It looks like the nail gem already fell off of the nail. That kinda sucks. Um, but what I am seeing here is that the the some of the builder gel is still kind of loose underneath here. So what I'm gonna do is just take whatever is not fully cured and scrape it away, like so. And then I'm gonna go into my big lamp and cure my nail upside down. So I'm gonna go do that. All right, so yeah, this nail applied beautifully. There was no spillage out on the sides and underneath you see that it looks pretty nice and clean. So I'm gonna go through and repeat that process on the rest of the nails. The only thing I will say is that these rhinestones that were on the press-ons were not secured very well. So I might end up having to go in and reinforce them. So yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process. So again, I am gonna take a nail tip here. I'm gonna take a little bit of the builder gel and I'm thinking maybe I used too much the first time around. So I'm gonna try to go in with just a little bit less. I'm gonna go into the whale of the nail where I know that the nail will meet my natural nail and then I'm gonna just swipe off the rest of the glue into the inside of the tip. I'm gonna turn on my lamp. I'm gonna flip my nail over, okay? And I'm gonna slightly tuck the nail underneath my cuticle and then let all the gel flow to the top of the nail and then go ahead and put it underneath the light. After that 60 seconds, there is some uncured builder gel underneath. I'm just gonna take my cuticle stick here, remove whatever excess came off, wipe that here on my paper towel. Now I'm gonna go into my big lamp and cure my nails upside down. So that is what the second nail is looking like after it's been adhered. Yeah, I'm liking how this method is working out so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the nails like that and I will be right back.
All right, you guys, so this is what it is looking like. I think that this builder gel worked out really good for the application process. So I do feel like these rhinestones are not adhered all that great. Well, at least that one is okay. I kind of want to take the rhinestones off and re-adhere them. Yeah. So I don't feel like the rhinestones are adhered all that great. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop them off. Oops. And then reapply them um, after I apply my base coat. So I did go ahead and take off all of the rhinestones. And what I plan to do now is just go in with a layer of base coat. I do go in with a layer of base coat just to ensure that the top coat does not peel from the um, press on nail. I have had that happen to me in the past and it wasn't fun. So I always try to take this extra step just to make sure it does not come off. I'm gonna go in with my Beatles matte top coat and apply that to all the nails. And inside of my matte top coat, I am gonna go ahead and adhere those rhinestones that were popping off. And I'm also gonna cap my free edge just to make sure no peeling happens with the press on nails. I'm gonna flip the hand for 10 seconds and then cure for 60. On this hand over here, I was actually going to go in with the same application method, but I'm actually pressed for time right now. So I am gonna go in and just apply the um, press-ons with the press-on nail glue. And I will also let you guys know how that holds up. So this hand to be a nail glue. And so actually, uh, I guess I'll just demonstrate one of the nails here on camera for you all, just so you can see what that process looks like for me. Typically when I apply my press on nails with glue, where I saturate the entire nail itself with super glue. Okay, like so. And then I normally just do one dot on the inside of the press on nail like so. Okay, and then I just apply it to my natural nail. And I go to the cuticle and then work my way down like so. And then I just continue pressing until um, it gets until it seals in. And so we'll see how good this uh, nail glue is for the BT Art Box nail glue. So yeah, I'll just keep holding that for about 30 seconds or so until it adheres to the actual nail itself. This isn't really how I wanted to do this set, but like I said, I'm running out of time. I'm getting ready to go on my girl's trip and like I leave in 10 minutes and so my friend is not gonna wait for me to do this other hand. So let's hope that this super glue holds up well. I don't even think I'm gonna have time to top coat it. So yeah, I'll just wish me luck on this hand, okay? So yeah, that's how the nail is applied with the um, super glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this BT Art Box glue. All right, so my ride is here, you guys. So I'm trying to hurry up and do my nails, man. This is so crazy. So I'm gonna hurry up and do this thumbnail really quick. Put the drop in here. And then, yes, I am taking these nails on the road with me. So I'm gonna apply them really quick. I hope I have enough time to do this matte top coat because I really don't wanna go without my matte top coat on, y'all, because I think these rhinestones are gonna fall off. Okay, we're just gonna do where we take a little bit here like this. Okay, so let's hopefully, if I press down long enough, hopefully this doesn't have any air bubbles on it because I really don't want air bubbles. Okay, so far so good. Let me just keep pressing. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how these press-ons turned out with this builder gel, okay? Like this set is definitely a vibe. Like these flames, this fire, it's hot, okay? It's hot just like this uh, summer heat has been, okay? I'm loving how this turned out, you guys. I am gonna go ahead, my ride is already here, so I'm gonna go ahead and go on this girl's trip and let you guys know how these nails hold up and I will be back with an update. Okay, happy people, I'm back with a quick update to let you all know how these nails are holding up. It is exactly four days later 
And y'all, these nails are staying put. They still look really good. I have absolutely no lifting at all on any of the nails. This is the hand that I apply the nails with Builder Gel on. And yeah, nothing has budged. Even all the rhinestones are still in place. So yeah, I'm very happy so far with how this is holding up. On this hand, this is the hand that I actually applied the BTR Box Nail Glue. And it's, it's still holding strong, you guys. The only thing with this nail is, I did have an air bubble on the thumb. Um, so that is still there, but I'm surprised this nail hasn't popped off. It's not even loose or anything like that. So like I said, no lifting at all on any of the nails. Like, I mean, this stuff is, is on there, you know what I mean? So I'm impressed with the, the nail glue that they included in the kit. And you guys, I went to a water park. Um, it was like a girls, girls trip with... And we brought the kids and so it was like you know three adults and like seven kids and we were at the water park for like a good two three hours these hands were submerged in water for over three hours and these nails did not pop off so i'll be honest with you i'm pretty impressed with that i'm actually going to leave like a clip of a video of me at the water park with my nails on just so y'all can kind of get a glimpse of you know me out and about with the nails the only other thing with this nail is that a few of the rhinestones did pop off and I don't know if you all can tell, but the matte top coat is peeling off on this hand. And if you all remember, I was in a rush when I did this hand and I only applied top coat. I didn't do my base coat and top coat. So you notice on this hand, there's no peeling. There's no lifting of that matte top coat. And on this hand, there is. That's the reason it's important to apply the base coat first and then the layer of top coat um, just to make sure there's no peeling with your nails or anything like that so yeah y'all that's just a quick update I will come back um, hopefully maybe in like a week and um, let you all know how it's holding up but so far so good okay happy people I'm back with the final update of these press-on nails it's exactly seven days later since I applied these press-on nails and y'all they are still going strong so this is the hand that I applied the nails with with builder gel and y'all they look like I just did them to be honest like I am loving how everything has held up so far on this hand all of the rhinestone all of the rhinestones are still intact which I'm really happy about um, there is very very like minor minor lifting at the cuticle area so minor that you can't even tell so it's no doubt in my mind that these this the nails on this hand would definitely last another week no problem and so yeah you can see that there's just slight new growth um, so whenever I do my press on nails I do kind of slightly tuck them underneath my cuticle area and I think because I do that as they grow out they tend to still look good after a week um, and so I think after two weeks you all will probably see my new growth a little bit better on this hand this is the hand that I actually used where I applied the super glue that came in the BT art box uh, press on nail kit and y'all I'm, I'm surprised none of these nails have popped off and again like I mentioned in my last clip y'all I went to a water park I was in that water for over three hours and all the nails are still here I'm impressed with these um, they're definitely high quality and even on this hand I remember I told you guys I did not apply a base coat before I apply my matte top coat so I don't know if you all can kind of see it but it peeled a little bit um, off of the nail like here it's even peeling you see so like it's peeling off but it still looks good to the naked eye no one can see that and so because it peeled off that means that these tips have been wearing really nicely so that peeled off like a few days after and the tips have not worn down very noticeably so I'm very impressed with these press on nails um, there is just slight lifting on the thumb and slight lifting on the index finger like right here you can see there's slight lifting but it does not feel like these are going to pop off anytime soon either and so my final thoughts on the BT art box nails they are a definite yes for me they are really high quality they're very sturdy the actual nail glue that comes in the kit works beautifully and then applying them with different mediums also works really nice and this design is just it's just hot y'all I mean these are some absolutely gorgeous press on nails I think BT art box did a great job you know they're known for their nail tips and so um, the fact that they got into doing press on nails it just makes complete sense you know so yeah if you all are interested in getting um, some of your own press on nails from B2 Art Box, I do have a discount code I am going to leave it on the screen it is rose 15 that's going to save you 15% off of your purchase at btartbox.com so I'm gonna leave all of the information linked down in the description box in case you all are interested but these nails are totally worth it like I'm excited to play around with the other press on sets that I got from them because I just really feel like press on nails have come a long way you know highly recommend I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all 
as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!